today's video, I have a full face super glam dramatic drugstore prom makeup tutorial. I spent the last couple of days researching with you guys, asking you tons of questions. What color are your prom dresses? What colors you wanted me to incorporate in prom um, makeup looks? And so many of you guys said rose gold. I figured I would start off with that and show you how to get it from the drugstore. Of course I did add some glitter because when I actually worked as a cosmetician, I did prom makeup and the number one thing I got asked for, number one, was sparkle. I did want to mention to you guys that I only used two products that are not drugstore, but they're still super affordable. So I did just want to point that out there. Number one was the lashes. I used Coco Goddess. They're literally $6. If you purchase them online, you can buy a bunch of them. They're so worth it. And also the glitter. I used BH Cosmetics glitter, which again, you can purchase online. Also, I want to point out the obvious, my background. I am using a backdrop. I am only going to be using backdrops once in a while, occasionally, maybe for special occasion tutorials like Valentine's Day or prom like this one so I'm still gonna be using my normal background like 95% of the time I just feel like it's a little more personable the backdrops look super pretty for like occasional makeup tutorials or occasional videos once in a while um, but I do prefer the personal touch of my regular background so let me stop rambling and let you guys go ahead and watch the tutorial if you are interested in checking out how I got this full face super glam glittery drugstore prom makeup look then keep on watching so to start off, we're going to go ahead and use this Nivea Men Aftershave Balm. This is going to be really great for prom, especially because it's going to make your makeup last all day. It gives it a really nice sticky tacky base for your foundation to stick to. We are going to be using a second primer for today. I'm going to take the Milani Prime Shield. This is just going to help more with smoothing out any pores. Moving on to foundation, we're going to take the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation and the shade, I believe, 105. I'm just going to apply that all over the face and go ahead and blend it out with the Morphe E6 brush. My biggest tip would definitely be not to apply too much, just because you can always apply more afterwards if you desire more coverage, whereas if you apply too much, it's definitely hard to kind of erase that. Also, make sure you're blending in circular motions and down the neck and up to the ears so that there is like no lines and it can be super seamless and blended. Moving on to concealer, I'm going to use the Maybelline Master Conceal in the shade Light and I'm just going to apply that underneath the eyes in a slimming triangular motion. I'm also going to put it down the center of the face. I am taking a super damp beauty blender to go ahead and blend that out. This is going to make it look a little bit more natural, but it's going to blend it like a dream. Also, don't forget to blend the perimeters of the concealer so that you don't have an obvious kind of line between your concealer and foundation. So moving on to some setting, we're going to use this loose powder by NYC. It is one of the best loose powders from the drugstore. We're going to do a little bit of baking. So you want to put quite a bit of powder on and let it sit there for a couple minutes. What this is going to do is it's going to really hold on the makeup for super long and kind of control oils, make sure it doesn't crease. It's just a really, really, really great effect to do when you want your makeup to be long lasting for a special event like prom. I am going to go ahead and set the rest of my face where I did not highlight and bake. I'm going to take the L'Oreal foundation powder and just go ahead and set that. You also may notice that I bring this down the neck and also the chest. I just put it very lightly so that it can kind of blend in with the foundation just to make sure that your face and chest and neck is all one color. Now after a few minutes of having your baking powder on, you can go ahead and just dust it off. I'm using the M500 brush by Morphe to just go ahead and fluff it all away.
Moving on to highlighting, I am going to take the NYX Banana Powder and just highlight the under eye. This step isn't completely necessary, but it is good if you do like a super highlighted under eye. Then for bronzing, I am taking the NYC Smooth Skin Sunny Bronzer. This is probably the best drugstore bronzer ever. It is amazing. It's super natural on the skin, and it's like the perfect shade ever, no matter if you're pale or medium skin tone. I'm just going to take this dual fiber brush and kind of um, bronze up the cheekbones, the temples, and also the jawline. So now you want to go ahead and contour a little bit. I'm going to take the NYX Powder Blush in the shade Taupe and go ahead and contour the cheekbones and also the temples. I am going to go ahead and apply a little bit of blush. I chose to go with a nude blush since the eyes and lips in this video were kind of strong, but you definitely could play it up with a mauve rose goldy type of toned blush. Moving on to highlighting, I'm using the new NYX Strobe of Genius Highlighting Palette. It is so bomb, I'm telling you right now, like look at that highlight, hello. I just went ahead and highlighted the cheekbones and also above the brow and down the center of the face, kind of focusing on the nose. Moving on to the brows, I decided to go with this Milani kind of brow pomade and it comes with this Milani brush as well, which the brush actually worked pretty good. Pretty much what I just do is comb out the brows, outline them, and then go ahead and fill it in. I do leave the inner corner part of the brows a little bit open just so that it's a little bit more natural than the end and middle of the brow. I do finish off the brows by combing through them once more and also adding some of this Milani tinted brow gel. This is just going to fill in any sparse areas and make your eyebrows appear a little bit more full. Then I am finishing off with this clear brow gel from L'Oreal. This is going to make sure your brows stay in place all day. Moving on to the eyes, the number one thing is to make sure you prime your eyelids. So I'm using this Sonia Kashuk eye primer, blending it out and then setting it with a powder. Moving on to eyeshadows, I am going to take this L'Oreal and CoverGirl palette and use both of them kind of back and forth. I'm taking this shade right here and just using that as a light transition shade, building it up in the crease just so that my other shades afterwards can have something to blend really nicely on top of and into. You just want to go ahead and use something that has a straight line that you can kind of form a super straight kind of dramatic eye line. This is a really great tip if you want a dramatic eye and you don't want it to look messy you'll see how you get a super nice straight line afterwards. It's definitely better than using the tape method because before tape you kind of have to peel it off and it definitely isn't good for the skin. But I am going to use this other shade and create a little bit more definition on the eye. As you can see, I'm taking it in a C motion. This technique is so, 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 so easy. Anyone could do it. Just kind of take it back and forth and the C motion on the outer corner of the eye. This is going to give great definition. Next, I am moving on to this deeper shade and I'm going to again just build that in in a C motion on the outer corner of the eye and into the crease as well and just keep on blending. Next, I'm going to take this super dark kind of purpley mauve eggplant shade and I'm going to apply that with a really small tapered fluffy blending brush into the crease and a little bit on the outer corner as well. Again, just to add more definition. You want to keep building up these shades. I am just going to take a little bit of the same bronzer I used and kind of fluff it in that transition crease area. This is just going to warm up the eye look just a tad bit and kind of bring everything all together. Next, I'm taking all the same shades I used in the crease and applying them on the lower lash line for some added definition.
moving on to the fun part of the eyes, I'm gonna take these two pressed pigments from L'Oreal, and I'm also gonna spray it with a little bit of this L'Oreal setting spray, and it's gonna make it more metallic and wet and intense. I'm just gonna apply this all over the eyelid. We are going to be applying some glitter afterwards, but I wanted to put this on first, um, just to kind of intense the base. But not only that, just to show you guys that if you aren't a glitter girl, you could stick with just doing this part and not doing the glitter. So I just wanted to show you guys kind of both options. I am also placing it on the lower lash line, just on the inner part. Moving on to glitter, I'm going to take this BH Cosmetics glitter. I did forget to show you a clip of the other shade that I used, but I pretty much mixed a rose gold and a pinky shade just to make it look super mauve pinky rose gold. Um, but feel free to shop for any glitter that you desire. Um, also make sure you use a glitter glue. ELF has an amazing one. I am just dusting off any fallout with the Morphe M500, also placing some glitter on the lower lash line. I loved that effect. Having it on the lid but also on the lower lash line just made it pop. I am taking a little bit more of that purple and just adding a tiny bit of it on the outer corner just to add a little bit more definition. Moving on to liquid liner, I'm applying a pretty nice thick kind of wing. Um, I like to just make in kind of like a wing shape from the outer corner and then I will go ahead and start doing a line from the inner corner to match it up. This is just the way I do uh, winged liner but keep in mind you can do it however you feel comfortable or you could totally even skip the winged liner. Next I am taking this L'Oreal pigment in the shade Time Resist White and popping that in the inner corner as well as mixing it with the same highlight we use from the NYX Strobe of Genius Illuminating Palette. Moving on to eyeliners, I'm taking first the black liner and just kind of tight lining only on the top because we're going to use the nude and tight line the bottom afterwards. We also are going to coat our lashes with a little bit of mascara just to prep for some falsies. For falsies, we're using the Coco Goddess Lashes. Also, don't forget to apply some lower lash line mascara. I'm taking the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara and really wiggling it in just to make sure I get a super dramatic lower lash because I live for a dramatic lower lash. <laughs> To complete the look, of course, you want to choose your own lip color. For me, I feel like this goes perfect with this look. I took the Rimmel Lip Liner in the shade Natural and just lined my lips with it. Then I used the two shades Push Up and Bedtime Flirt from the NYX Lip Lingerie Liquid Lipsticks and went ahead and applied that. A lip liner and liquid lipstick is ideal for prom just because it will last the longest. And to finish off the look, you want to use some setting spray. This is going to make your makeup last really long the entire night.